the living God. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for this new, this Sunday morning. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, allowing us to open up our eyes again. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are right now, just thank Jesus for this day. If you're watching this this Sunday, lift your hands up and say, Jesus, thank you. Father, I thank you. I thank you that I'm alive. I'm still here. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to know. I'm blessed to know that by being saved, we can miss the lake of fire and and, and spend the eternal life, everlasting life with the Father, the Son, and our loved ones that passed on in Christ before us. Welcome to TBM. Father, bless the hearers, bless the viewers, Lord God, everybody that comes through this YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Bless them, Father God. Bless them. Bless them with your word, Father God. Help them understand the things of God, your things, your, your will. Help them through me, the preacher, the pastor of this ministry. Father God, I thank you, Lord. Bless every hearer. Bless every viewer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Welcome to TBM. I am Pastor Tyrone Burton. And on behalf of this ministry, with First Lady Erica Haley Burton, we send love to you on behalf of Jesus Christ himself. I'm glad you tuned in this Sunday. Hit the subscribe button where you are right now. Hit the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to this new YouTube channel. Keep in mind, there's two YouTube channels, one about with about 15,000 subscribers, and this new channel right here with about 288, 294 uh, subscribers. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Hey, actor Tyrone Burton, TK from The Parenthood, he got a new YouTube channel. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. And also, it will bless them because we're bringing the word to help them. So now I want to I wanna do what we do here. I want to do what we do here at TBM. I want to tell you, get your Holy Bible in your hand. Get your Holy Bible in your hand and repeat with me. And if you don't got a Bible, get your Bible app and throw it up in the air. This is the sword. This is the sword of the Spirit. Get your sword. Get your Holy Bible and repeat with me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. And I can do what it says I can do. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Glory to God. If you're a believer, you better know that you got authority. The Bible tells us mm, many wonderful things. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. You have the baptism of God's spirit. You have the water baptism. Jesus is with us. I'm here to bring forth a word to you. I'm here to bring forth a word to you, to bless you, to help you understand the things of God. And I want to look into the book of Mark. Turn with me in your Holy Bibles to the book of Mark, Mark chapter number four. And when you get there, my wife, the first lady of this ministry, she, she, she brought forth this idea. When you get there, say hallelujah, hallelujah. When you get to Mark four, Shout out a praise. Send up a praise to Jesus. Glory to God in heaven. I just woke up not too long ago. I had to get myself ready, prepare myself, and come forth with this word to bless the people. There's people dying out here in this earth. We need this word. We need this word. We need a word for God. We need to keep our face in this holy Bible. When you get to Mark chapter 4, shout out hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to. I want to. I want us to look into Mark four. There's some key things in here. Everything in the Bible's keys. It's a key to life. It's keys to life to help you open up the door of of, of health. Open up the door of, of wealth. Open up the door of, of 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 love. Open up the door of peace. Walk in peace. Walk in love. Walk in power. How do we do that? Through his word. We got to get this word in our mind and in our spirit. This is the instructions we have from God our Father. Let's go forward in this word. Again, I want to thank you wherever you're watching Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I want to thank you. I want to welcome you to this ministry. I am the pastor, TDB, Tyrone Dorzel Burton, bringing forth this word to help the people understand the things of God by the word of God. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel on Facebook. I should put a link. If you're on Facebook watching this right now, I should put a link in the comment section of the YouTube video. Click on that YouTube video. Subscribe to the channel. If you're on TikTok, subscribe to the channel. The YouTube link is in my TikTok bio. If you're on Instagram, the, my, my YouTube channel is in the IG bio. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go. Let's get into this word of God. Daryl Burton Sr., Daryl Burton Jr., my dad and my brother, forever with me while I'm here on this earth. Jesus is Lord. Mark chapter 4, and he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. And the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth. And immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. Tell yourself, I'm not going to wither away. I'm going to be rooted. I'm going to be rooted in God. I'm rooted in God. You got to get rooted in this word. Got to get rooted like a big tree. You look at trees outside near your house or wherever. Trees are rooted. You try to knock that tree down, you ain't gonna, you can't do it unless you have some big demolition trucks to try to do it. But a tree's rooted. You must be rooted, child of God. You must be rooted, young man, young woman, older man, older woman. You must be rooted in God's word. Let's continue to go forward in this word. We're in Mark chapter 4, verse number. Six. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. You want to make sure you yield fruit. You don't want to be in this earth yielding no fruit. You don't want to be a tree that, got, that is not producing fruit. We got to produce fruit. We need to produce fruit. To help the people, to help our families, to help our wives, to help our kids, to help our, to help our loved ones. Produce fruit. Tell yourself, I'm going to produce fruit. I'm going to produce fruit. Verse 7, and some, let's see here. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And others fell on good ground, and it did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30, and some 60, and some in hundred. And he said unto them, keep in mind, this is Jesus Christ himself, the Lord himself. This is the King of Kings. This is the Lord of Lords. This is the Alpha and the Omega. This is the beginning and the end. And this is the first and the last. This is Jehovah Sikhanu. This is the Lord our righteousness. This is Jehovah Adonai, the Lord our God. This is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. So understand who's, who, who you're hearing from. You're hearing from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mark chapter 4, verse 8. Another fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some 30 and some 60 and some 100. This is Jesus Christ's words. Verse 9. And he said unto them, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him... When the twelve asked of him the parable. I want to read verse 10 again for you. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. That seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing. They may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, know ye not this parable? 
And how then will ye know all parables? Verse 14, if you just joined by Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, if you just joined in this YouTube on the YouTube, we at Mark chapter 4, verse number 13. And he said unto them, know ye not this parable, and how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. I want you to listen closely to these words of Jesus Christ himself. He is our Lord. He is here to help us, and he's helping us through his word. If you keep this Bible closed, if you don't open your Bible, how are you going to get his help? If you want him to help you, you got to open his word and read it and get it in your mind and in your heart and walk in it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is with us. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Verse number 16. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. Let's go back to 14 really quick because I want you to grasp this. I want you to get a hold of this. We want to, We need to get a hold of this. Verse 14, the sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they... Likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, Immediately they are offended. Stay rooted. Tell yourself I'm going to stay rooted in Christ. I'm going to stay rooted in God, I'm our Father. I'm going to stay rooted in God Almighty. I'm going to stay rooted in the Word of God. I'm going to stay rooted. Tell yourself I'm going to stay rooted. If you're in the, in the room with somebody, tell your neighbor, I'm going to stay rooted in Christ Jesus. If you're in the car with somebody, tell them, tell them I'm going to stay rooted in Jesus. Let's, let's follow. Verse number 17. And, okay, verse 16. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves. So it's important to have to be rooted because if you hear the word of God and at first you receive it with gladness, you're excited about it. You receive it with gladness, right? But if you don't have no root in yourself, you would endure for a time, a period of time as the word, as Jesus is telling us here. But afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. So you got you to gotta get rooted in this word because when affliction and persecution hits your life, you want to make sure that you're rooted in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You want to make sure you're, you're, you're wrapped up in his love. You're wrapped up in obedience. You're protected by obedience. So when persecution hits your life, you're not moved. You're like that tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Come on, somebody. Stay rooted. Glory to God. Stay rooted. I'm going to read verse 16 again. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. 
And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things, entering in, choke the word, and it becoming unfruitful. This stood out to me when I was at our vacation house. I was cutting the grass in the backyard of the Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell you, tell somebody in the room with you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth have something good for you. He have something good in store for you. All you got to do is obey him. Tell yourself, all I got to do is obey him. Jesus got some good stuff for me. He got health for you. He got money for you. Yeah, he, he, come on. We need money to pay bills. We need money to, to eat. We need money to buy a car, to ride around, and get to and fro, to get your kids to school, to get to work. We need money to get what we need. That is the system in which we're in this earth. But God has a system when you do his will, if you pay your tithes, if you, you do what he tell you to do, if you obey him, if you, if you seek him first. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his all of its righteousness and all of these things, food and raiment, it takes money to get food and clothing, which is raiment, food and raiment, it takes money to get those things. So if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of its rich, if you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of its righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. Jesus is Lord. I want to thank you for tuning in to TBM Ministries. We are here to help the people. My dad said off his lips, we're going to open up one. We're going to open up a church. So one day we're going to, I believe, open up a church. And I believe we're going to open up one here in Virginia. And um, God is going to uh, be amongst us and with us because our focus is him and we're seeking him. And when we open the church, Lord willing, we live. We're, we're coming together with the purpose of doing his will here on earth, worshiping him, the father, the son, worshiping and praising him in the house, doing everything he tell us to do, obeying his words, bringing, paying our tithes, giving our offerings, singing a song, giving our praise, sending up a praise, sing, sending up an offering of praise, obeying him in every point, obeying his very words. So that not only we would be blessed, but our kids will be blessed. So I look forward to having a church one day. Uh, and I believe we'll have multiple churches, one here in Virginia, one in Georgia, possibly one in Boston, possibly one in California. I'd like to uh, be a blessing to Bishop Ernest Johnson, who who been a blessing to me since I met him in 1999, I believe we met. I was going to a movie audition and, and he was taking his client, uh, I believe DeAndre Bonds, to a movie audition. And um. I, I in, in my life, I wanted to be baptized. I seen some scriptures and, and I wanted to make sure that I did what I needed to do. And I talked to him and he ended up baptizing me that night after my audition, I believe it was. He, he ended up coming to my apartment in California and came and baptized me in the name of Jesus Christ, according to Acts 2.38. So he's been a blessing in my life and I've been rocking with him ever since. Jesus is the answer. I come from the Jeter camp. Jesus is the answer. Apostolic Church and Television Ministry. He went on and um, had me star in his movie Sque uh, uh, Flossin with a bunch of Hollywood actors. Todd Bridges and James Jimmy Bridges directed it. And, and uh, Merlin Santana, rest in peace. Kennell, my brother, my boy. Fredro Starr, my boy. Tyron Turner, my boy. Much love to y'all if y'all watching. And um, uh, Miguel Nunez, our boy. You know what I mean? We had a lot of people in there. Aaron Frazier, my boy. All, all the, the cats, Dante Snyder, and, and uh, if I missed your name, forgive me, Angel Conwell. Uh, we had a lot of people in the movie with us, acting in the movie that Ernest Johnson wrote. And um, so I got baptized and I got a movie. God blessed me with my spiritual need that I needed. And um, he also blessed me with something to make money in the earth because we need money to eat and feed your kids and feed yourself and your wife and your kids and you and and pay your bills and live and get your necessities taken care of take care of your necessities so i'm telling you this story while i'm looking for matthew um jesus has been a 
Jesus has been a blessing in my life in such a real way. He tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of its righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Keep your place in the Bible in Mark 4. We're going to go right back there. But I'm, I'm, I moved into uh, Matthew 6.33 to, to bring forth this point to you. Understand this. Understand this. So much love to Jesus of the Answer Church family out there, everybody. Bishop Ernest Johnson and First Lady Rebecca Johnson and all the Jita family. Much love from Ty Pastor Tyrone Burton of TBM Ministries and, and First Lady Erica Haley Burton and Tyra Victoria Burton, one of the choir leaders. Much love to y'all. We here in Virginia representing Jesus Christ, representing the Lord Jesus Christ right here in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a city boy turned country boy. Glory to God in heaven. Much love, Bishop Ernest Johnson. Much love, Bishop Noel Jones. Much love, Clarence E. McClendon. Much love to Frederick Casey Price. Much love to all my brothers in Christ. Much love to the body of Christ. Nick Cannody, Raymond Cannody, brother, brother Woody, much love, Craig Mitchell Sherman. This is our Jeter family. Bishop York Milton, much love to all the saints and believers that I rock with. Much love, Charles E. Blake, much love, Robert Townsend, much love, much love to my parenthood family, much love to Warner Brothers, my, my TV family. So now Mark, uh, Matthew, hold in your, in your Bible, keep that place, Mark 4, we're going to continue there. Matthew 6.33 tells us this. The Bible says, but seek, Jesus Christ said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I was telling you earlier, we, we, we need money to drive a car, get a car, buy a car so you can drive a car, buy a house, pay your rent, get food for you and your wife and your kids. So therefore, Jesus told us what to do. This is the blueprint for success, y'all. The Holy Bible is the blueprint for successful marriages, for successful careers, for successful bank accounts, for successful health account. You know what I mean? We got to be healthy. It all comes through obedience. If you want to simplify it, obey Jesus, obey the Father and his Son, which are one, and be blessed. Be blessed like some of the kings. I was talking to my son uh, last night. Elijah Jeremiah Burton, named after two powerful prophets. I was, and we were just talking scriptures with, with Tyra. And um, we talked about my son, Tyrone Dorzel Burton II. And we talked about, I believe we talked about Asia and Alicia, my daughters, and, and my son Aiden. And we talked about um, Jaquarius and Zanai. We talked about all of... Me being married, you got to understand, when you're married, your kids and your wife's kids, when you get married, they're our kids, right? We're one. So the Bible, Jesus, God tells us we're one flesh, me and my wife. So that's what it is, and that's a fact. So therefore, you walk in love. So I'm talking to Elijah on the phone, and we're going over some scriptures, and we're talking about, I think he was reading Job. He read about Job, and I, and I pointed out to, uh, I said to Elijah something like, uh, Job is skewed evil. The Bible tells us that Job is skewed evil. He hated evil. He hated sin. He hated evil. And look how richly God blessed him in the earth. Look at Solomon. He didn't ask for, for, for wealth and riches. He asked for what? Understanding. He asked for what? Wisdom. Understanding. What he asked for? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. He asked for he asked for what? Understanding. He asked for what? Look in your Bible. What did he ask for? He asked for something to help him judge the people he as king solomon so i want to encourage you young man and young woman obey god and you can be set up like a king like king david king solomon joe one of the richest dudes of the east as me and elijah was talking last night one of the richest dudes of his time let's say so i want you to be encouraged and i want you to know how to get money i want you to know how to stay healthy and get healthy if you're not in a, if you're in a place of unhealthy, if, you, if, you're, if you're overweight, jog, run, get healthy, work on yourself. But it's, it's, it's important to understand that you got to seek ye first the kingdom of God. If you seek God first, he'll help you with the other things. He'll help you get your money up. He'll help you stay healthy. He'll bless you to stay healthy. He'll help you get your weight down. He'll help you if you want to pick up weight, if you're too skinny or whatever. Whatever you want to do, 
He'll help you. And, and when you set goals in life, uh, the Bible teaches you how to accomplish them and how to be successful in it. God blessed me to go from the hood to Hollywood. He blessed me to go and be hired as the character TK by Warner Brothers. He blessed me to, to be hired by uh, uh, Robert Patton's bro, Cathartic Filmworks, uh, Patty Moreno, and, and doing Squeeze. He blessed me to make that money through SAG and after and Emmett Fogart bringing us all together. And, and much love to Craig Brown, rest in peace. Just heard from Emmett. God bless the obedient believer. God bless the obedient man. God bless the obedient woman. So verse uh, 33 in Matthew 6. But Matthew 6, 33, Jesus Christ said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So I was saying earlier that, that this is this. See, this is how... You get the money, you get the clothes, you get the nice cars, you get the houses. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek first God. So you got to seek Jesus first. You got to seek Jesus first. You got to seek the Father first. He created you. He created the heavens, the earth. He created Adam and Eve. He took the rib and formed the woman. So it's only it only makes sense for you to seek first the one that created you, to look after, the, to look for, and to go after, to love the one that created you. Look at all the people ignoring God in the earth and doing what they want to do and, and maybe letting uh, Satan use them, uh, uh, letting Satan use them, the devil use them to do, to kill and do different crazy stuff. When you disobey God, when you ignore God, when you don't let God lord you, Jesus is Lord in this camp. Jesus is Lord over here. Jesus is Lord in the earth. You have to allow him to lord you. You got to allow his word to lord you. Jesus is Lord, as the peace said, as the B, my brother said, as Tyrone and my wife and my daughter, as, as we in the family declare, Jesus is Lord. Let's continue where uh, I left off in uh, Mark chapter 4, verse number, let's, let's start from, let's continue from verse 14. Let's go back to Mark, if you, come on, stay, stay on it, stay on it. Remember, I told you, hold your place in Mark 4. Let's go back there. If you ain't already there, some people are already there. Let's go, let's go. The sower, verse 14. The sower soweth the word. We're in Mark chapter 4, verse 14, if you just tuned in. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure, but for time. After when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Verse 18, and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, such as hear the word. Keep in mind what he's saying. Jesus said in verse 18, And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things, entering in choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Make sure you're not being unfruitful with your life. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit. Bring forth fruit in your life, with your life. Bring forth fruit. Imagine a tree in the earth that ain't bringing forth fruit. But imagine a tree that's bringing forth fruit. It's helping the earth. It's giving food to people. It's, 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 it's doing something for someone else. It's feeding somebody. It's giving them what they need. So be let your life feed somebody, help somebody. Give somebody what they need. If he's hungry, feed him. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some 30 fold, some 60 and some in hundred. All right. So here we go. We got to the good ground of the, of the parable. Verse 20. Jesus words read. And these are they which are sown on good ground. Such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit. Some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some in hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed? Question mark. And not to be set on a candlestick? Question mark. 
For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath, to him shall be given. And he that hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put it in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Verse 30. And he said, keep in mind, this is Jesus' words. If you just join Mark 4, verse 30. And he said, where unto, and he said, where unto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Question mark. Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Question. It is like a grain of mustard seed. Uh, let's, 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 I'm going to read that again for us. And he said, where unto, who, where unto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Question. Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Question. It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs. Herbs. It, it, come in, it becometh greater than all herbs herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. I want to encourage you. You can be the greatest at whatever you do. You can be the greatest actor. You can be the greatest basketball player. You can be the greatest football player. You can be the greatest doctor, the best doctor, the best lawyer, the best plumber, the best electrician. Be the best you can be. That's what my dad, DP, told me, Daryl Burton Sr., Daryl Alexander Burns Sr., be the best you can be. Before he left his body, he told me, be the best you can be. I'm, in tell, I'm encouraging you, watching, whoever you are, be the best you can be. Be the best store manager you can be. Be the best CEO of, 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 of Disney you can be. Be the best employee you can be. Be the best carpenter you can be. Jesus was a carpenter. That's interesting. That's another, that's another topic. That's another subject matter. That's another, you can build a sermon off of that. Just Jesus was a carpenter. That, let's continue. Whatever you do in life, whatever you enjoy doing, do it and be the, try to be the best. Put your all into it like Michael Jackson, like Michael Jordan. I'm Tyrone Burton. I am an actor. If the Lord will and I live, I got more to do. And I plan on continuing to dedicate myself to my craft so I can continue to bring entertainment to the world at the highest level, at the best level. Giving y'all my best when you go watch my movies, when you go watch my TV shows, when you watch my TV shows from home, when you see me on YouTube, giving you my best. Let's be the best we can be. Be the best you can be. I am going to be the best I can be. You be the best you can be. Verse 30. And he said, where unto who shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs. And shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Verse 33. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. 
verse 36. If you're just joining, we at chapter 4 of Mark, verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Verse 38, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. Jesus, just chilling, just sleep on a pillow, relax. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? It's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's the King of Kings. It's the Lord of Lords. It's God in the flesh. God himself. That's what kind of man it is. You're not dealing with a, a regular man like you and I. You're dealing with Jesus Christ of Nazareth who walked on water, who raised Lazarus from the dead, who opened up the eyes of the blind, who opened up the ears of the deaf, who got DP up when he was in a coma. Glory to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome you. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to welcome you to the kingdom of God. I want to welcome you to salvation. I want to welcome you to the hand of Jesus Christ. I want to welcome you to salvation. I want to, I want to ask you to come on, come on, give your life to Jesus. Give your life to the father, his son. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 and verse number nine, the Bible says here, this is what you do to be saved. TBM, our ministry, which is Christ First Burton Ministries, also Tyrone Burton Ministries. We're here. Me and the first lady of this ministry, my wife, Erica Haley Burton, and my daughter, Tyra Burton, and the rest of the TBM family and the Jeter camp, the Jeter family. TBM is here to help the people. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. We're here to help the people with the things of God. We're here to help you. I got something for you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you're not saved, give your life to God. Give your life. Accept Jesus in your life. Confess him right now where you are. Declare it with us here at TBM. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart what God did for you. God the Father sent his son into the earth. Jesus walked this earth. 33 years. He did miracles. He did all these great things. He, he saved people. He saved, he saved people with food. He saved people. He, he, he saved people with his life. He died on the cross. And saved everybody that accept him. That confess him as Lord. And believe that God the Father raised him from the dead. If you're not saved, you can be saved right now. Confess Jesus as the Lord if you want to be saved. Repeat with me, Jesus, you are the Lord. I believe, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for this man, this young man, this actor, this pastor, this preacher, bringing forth the word to teach me what I need to do to be saved. Thank you for your word in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, which says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you want to be saved, confess him right there where you are. Repeat with me, Jesus, you are the Lord. And I believe, I believe what you did for me, Father. I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, into the earth. And I believe that you raised him from the dead. I believe that he died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you, Father, raised Jesus Christ from the dead. According to Romans 10, 9, if you are standing in faith right now, if you just confess that Jesus is the Lord and you believe that God the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you are saved according to Romans 10, 9. God bless you. Welcome to the body of Christ. Welcome to the family of love. 
Jesus' family is a family of love. We are love, walk in love. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to TBM Ministries. Comment, leave a comment on Facebook, leave a comment on TikTok, leave a comment on Instagram, leave a comment here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Tell your friends and family, subscribe to actor Tyrone Burton's YouTube channel, Pastor Tyrone Burton. Make sure you subscribe. I got two channels. Make sure you subscribe to both of them. I'll put a video in the comment section so you can w click on the video, watch it, and also subscribe. God bless you. If you just got saved, if you just confessed that Jesus is, is the Lord for the first time, and if you believe and if you believe what God did for you, that God raised Jesus from the dead, you are saved according to his word. And God can't lie. So tell us and tell us in the comment section if you just if you just gave your life to the Lord, if you just confessed him. And if you believe, if you if you now from if you went from an unbeliever to a believer, let us know. Let us know in the comment section. If you got any prayer requests, put them in the comment section. And we here, me and my wife, the first lady, Burton, and Tyra Victoria Burton, one of the prayer uh, team members as well.